Hi and welcome to part 5 of this Django and View course. Today we want to create this page, which is the detail page of course. This is what you will see if you are authenticated, and this is what you will see if you are not authenticated. We are going to fix a few bugs up here in the menu and similar, but we can begin with the course detail page. So to do that we need to go into Visual Studio Code, create a new file called course.view. Here I want to begin with the hero, which I can just copy from a different page. And I can actually copy all of these lines, so the 11 first line of courses.view. I begin by closing a few of these. And then the template. And then we can import this into the router, just so we have it. Router slash index.js. So first we can make a copy of this, just to remove the S, and remove the S there. Then I want to append this below the courses here. But instead of having a separate URL, I want courses slash colon slug. Because this will now be dynamic. And I want to use the name there, and the name there. So everything that starts with course courses and then ends with another name we'll use this I will use this component so if I save now go back to the browser here which we have this running and then if I just go up here and say hello you'll see that I was sent to this page courses which is the wrong title but at least it's a right or correct component so here I want to show the title of the course, the title of the course. And then in here I want to split the content, just like I do here, the table of contents and then the main content of the course. So div class column is 2. And then here I had to add a title, h2, table of contents. And one div class column is 10 and this should be the content of the course h2 introduction and save so if i now go back here you'll see, see the table of contents there and the introduction but we don't see this with this styling so we can fix that by going back here and then in the columns here we add content then Bulma will automatically change these two titles and then I can statically add the UL here with the table of contents UL ally ahrf can just go to empty for now introduction close that one and then just add a few of these get started part one part two and summary you will see this if you are authenticated and if you are not just not to show everyone what the contents of the course actually are but if you are not authenticated you should not see this but we will come back to that later then for now i just want to add a little bit more content there so add a paragraph with some lorem ipsum text right now we have a simple page but hello is not one of the correct URLs which you see in courses so we need to fix that so I want to make it possible now to click this to be sent to that correct page and to do that I need to go back to VS Code and find courses.view and then down here where we see the link you can change this to be a router link router-link and also close this correctly to sorry colon 2 so we can use javascript here the name of the view we are going to use is course this needs to be in this like that and then we need a few attributes and then to do that here add params colon and then a new object and i want to use a parameter called slug which is the one we refer to here and then here I want to pass in course.slug I want to remove this around name 
and add one more curly bracket like that. So if I save now, this should hopefully be correct. Yes, if you see down in the left corner, you will see courses slash programming course one. Let's click that and then we are sent there. So this name refers to this name we use here. And then we have the parameters slug, which is the course slug, which is set in the database. So then I need to make it possible to use Axios here as well to get this information from the back end. So I can copy a little bit from courses. Copy all of this and then just paste it here. Here we're going to use a variable called course instead of courses. And instead of saying courses here, we need to also specify the ID of the course. So to use a variable inside here, we can say ID. And then we can change this to use backticks, which allows JavaScript to use IDs or variables inside this string. And in const ID, we need to get or slug, which will be much more correct, of course. So slug is this one. We need to get that from the router. This dot route dot params dot slug. So now we call this URL and get that information from the backend. And then instead of saying this dot courses, we said this dot course. So now we can save. And now we will get an error here because this URL isn't found in the backend. So we can fix that by going into views.py and create a new view here at API view get def get course request and also one more parameter called slug course equals course.object.get slug equals slug so now we get the course from the database which matches the one or the URL in the front end then we can just use this, you can remove many and replace it with course. Then we just need to append this to the urls.py here. Path slug colon slug slash views.get course. So now we have the same URL as up here, but we also append a slug. This first slug means that we are expecting a slug here. And this slug here refers to this name here. So I can save this. And if I now just copy this and go to 127 API courses like that, you'll see that we get this exact course. Nice. So let's use that information and present it here. So we can go back to course.view. And then we can scroll up remove this title and say course.title save programming course one so now we get this information from the back end nice we can also replace the thing in here with the things we get from the back end course.long description description you will probably get an error now or no error because this isn't available in this serializer so we need to create a new serializer just for this so inside serializers.py we can create one just copy this course detail serializer and here we also want the long description and the reason I do this is because long description is usually a lot of data which we don't want to show in the list of courses so it's better to have a separate serializer like this and then inside of views.py we can import it here course detail serializer and then we use it here so if i save now go back and refresh you'll see that we now see the long description there great so now we get the information here. I will come back to the table of contents later and a little bit more here as well. But for now we can go back to the to-do list and set this task to done. 
Next, it's time to restrict access to the course so that if you are not logged in, you will see this page instead. So then we can go back to VS Code and into course.view. And then here I can create a new template tag vif store.state.isAuthenticated. Then we see this. And if not, we can say template v else h2 restricted access. You need to have an account to continue. Then close the template and save. And since I I'm not logged in, I will see this screen. So then I can log in and see if it's work. Okay, it's not working. That might be because I used the wrong... Yes, sorry, it was supposed to be store.state.user.isAuthenticated. So now I will see the long description because I am authenticated. Great. But then I can set this task to done. And then the next step now is to show or hide the login sign up buttons when you are authenticated because here we would much rather see a my account page when we are logged in. So I can just copy this because I'm going to need it. And then I can find the nav.view. And then here I can say template and use this. Then I want to show something else. I want to add template v else because if I am authenticated then I want to show a my account page router link to slash dashboard slash my dash account class button is info my account save great so now I see a simple button here and if I click it I will be sent to my account if I log out, I will see these buttons instead. Perfect. Done. And I also added a link to my account in the menu. But since that was done, we can add a link to the courses instead. So router link to slash courses class navbar item courses. Close this one. I also want to replace this anchor links here with correctly used router links because this is much better view like that router link save so then I can refresh and now I see courses here and if I try to go into this one you see restricted access you need to have an account to continue which means that this is working. As you can see if I try to click login it's not working so I can fix that as well. Fix these to be router link to slash log in and then I close the router link. Great so now we fixed up a little bit there. Refresh click login and then I can log in again. Nice. So now I have access to the course. Perfect. So then I just want to fix the backend a little bit because if I try to log out now, the token in the database will not be deleted. If you open up the my account page, you will see that we are not calling the backend to tell it to delete this. So I want to fix that. And to do that, I need to convert this to an async function. And before I go down here, I want to use or call axios await axios.post api slash v1 slash token slash logout. This is already built into Joser, so you don't have to think about that anymore. Dot then. And when that's done, I just want to show a little information in the console. Console.log logged out 
So here, when we call logout, we wait for this to finish before we go down here. And if there are any errors there, we don't have to worry about that, because then we will still be logged out. So save this, refresh, if I go to my account, log out. Okay, I actually got an error from the back end there. Okay, I got an authentication error here, and that's because I use post, which requires that you are authenticated. But anyways, I was signed out, so I will fix this later in the series. So then I can go back here, set the last task to done. And that was it for this part. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please click like below. And if you have any questions about today's code, feel free to leave a comment below, and I answer as soon as I can. See you in the next video.